in. I will be monitoring the chat list throughout our program today. If it's something that is questioning what Uvula is doing right then, I will stop and ask your question for you. Otherwise, at the end of the program, we will ask all of the other questions that people have had. So let me introduce Yuval, Chef Yuval. Uh, we are very happy to have him. He is originally from Israel. He was formerly a professional soccer player and an executive chef in several hotels. He came to Cleveland, Ohio in 2004 and began catering all over, including everywhere in the United States, both private and corporate clients. Right now, he oversees the lunch program at our local Groschecter Day School in Beechwood, Ohio. And so without further ado, I would like to welcome Chef Yuval. And you can take it away. I, I'm going to put you on spotlight so that that's what good. you were looking at. There you go. Okay. You hear me good? Yes. Okay. Hi. Good afternoon from Cleveland. Uh, my name, like she introduced, uh, it's Yuval Rab. I'm very excited uh, for Naamat uh, organization to share my recipe. Like I say to Marcy before, I start, I want to show you each ingredients. And if you have any question, I don't know if it's in the middle when I'm sp speaking, it's going to make it happen or end of the recipe, Marcy going to uh, get in charge on that. As uh, let's start. Okay, I'm going to share with you two, two recipes. One is the shakshuka. Shakshuka is the famous uh, things in Israel for breakfast and brunch. You can do a million varieties with that. I like to stick to the classic shakshuka, but definitely I would uh, tell you another option to, you know, to, uh, to add more protein like chicken, like hot dog. I like to do it uh, the classic way. I can call it shakshuka. I call it similar to like tomato stew with poached eggs. Okay, we start with the shakshuka. We start with the ingredients. I chopped. I want to show you. I diced. I want chunky uh, pieces, four to five uh, nice sized tomato. I chopped three cloves of garlic, fresh garlic. We have salt, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a half of teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and tomato paste. I'm going to explain every ingredient and how it's come. Now, I want to see that you see my pen. Okay. I start definitely, I would like to use with olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. It's make the difference. I'm going to pour to the frying pan. One, two, three. Three teaspoon. I'm I want that it get a little bit hot. During when I'm finishing to plating the shakshuka, uh, I'm going to go to the second recipe that it's mejadara. It's very mejadara. It's mean it's from the Jewish that, that came long time ago from Iraq and it's became a top notch in America as a side dish. In a fancy restaurant, it's mejadara, it means it's rice with lentils and a saute onion and great spices that I'm going to share with you soon when we finish the shakshuka. Now that I, I pan fry is hot enough, I'm taking the garlic, I pour it. Very important, the garlic needs to toast not more from 45 seconds because if it's burned, it's going to infect to all the recipe. We don't want 
burnt uh, taste. The garlic starts to toast. You see? Yes, Hugo. Someone is asking if the eggs need to be. We have the tomato different. now. I had the tomato. Upa, fire. It's okay. It's part of the business. business. I saute the tomato. When I see it's hard, I start to add the spices. Like we say, teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of black pepper. Paprika. Let me add the fire a little bit low. Ma? Turmeric. I mix the tomato and let it cook. Now, we can add, I like it more spicy, you like it less spicy. You do it as you like it. But the main thing in the shakshuka, I think the big secret in the shakshuka, longest it's cook and low flame, better all the spicy spices coming together. And it's amazing with like a French baguette, like bread, like challah, it's coming and we dip it in the shakshuka. Now the shakshuka is cooking. I hope you see good from the, from the, let me know if you look good. You see now it's getting hot. I'm going to add, I like to add a spoon of tomato paste. The tomato paste make a little bit nice color. Let me mix it. Are you in your home kitchen? What? Are you in your kitchen at home? No, I'm a Czechter in my kitchen. Ah. No, it's not home. You see, I can show you. It's a huge kitchen. This is my second home. Just like we all wish we had. Yes, exactly. But Chakshuka, you don't need professional. I'm doing days and night Chakshuka in my house. I'm telling you, it doesn't need to be a professional uh, kitchen. Okay. The Chakshuka cooked, I'm guessing between four to five minutes. Now, look on the beautiful color. You see it's nice and bright red. I leave it to cook for low. I'm get, getting the low flame and let it cook for at least eight to 10 minutes when the tomato got soft and juicy and it's come like a sauce with all the spices. We start to poach the eggs and after, I'm going to show you, this is the last uh, thing to, to finish the shakshuka. I show how to poach the eggs nicely on top. We cover it for like three to four minutes till the eggs get also the spices and poach it night on top of the stew. Easy peasy, we finish. Any question about the shakshuka? One person asked if the eggs need to be room temperature. The, the, the eggs must to be, if you want it poaches nice, this is a great uh, question that I forgot to because I do it automatically. Great. Yes, it needs to be room, room temperature that it's going to poach nice and this. Now, the way that you poach it, it depends on you. You like it runny, you like it raw, you like it uh, overcooked. This is on your uh, opinion. I like it runny, I like it raw, I like to dip the bread, but this is for, for everyone's own uh, opinion. Thank you. Any more question or we can go to the you, other recipe, to the Mijada? Keep going, keep going, you're doing great. You're doing great. Thank you very much. Okay, Mejadara. 
We have here a pot. Again, olive, olive virgin oil. One, two, three. Let it cook. In, on this case of the Mejadara, I, I uh, choose to make two, two cups of rice. And this is need to be very, very straight. And because the rice, we're going, I'm going to show you. Okay. If we do two cup of rice, I took half a cup of onion. Okay, again, the onion, I like the purple onion. You can use with the white, with Spanish, you name it. Doesn't matter. F and F uh, chopped very well. I dump it to the to the pot. Again, we don't want, we saute the onion, we toast it, we want the onion get a little bit clear color. We don't want to burn that. It's also bring all the flavor out. Let me bring the spoon. I forgot. Okay. I'm guessing around 45 seconds. We are going to view of the ingredients. When I say the rest of the ingredients, I took, you see, two cup of rice. Is it a specific kind of we rice? We want to toast the rice on top of the onion and the olive oil. What type of rice? Now, again, the rice. Yes, I like to use with basmati. Okay. Thank but you. But again, I'm open mind. I, I don't say that only the, uh, the uh, this kind of rice you can use with any kind of rice that you like in a regular base that you're doing a normal rice. I'm going to add the rice. I'm going to toast the rice for again for 45 seconds on top of the rice or oh, uh, on top of the onion. I'm sorry. We want to top it. Give me a second. Okay, I'm here again. After the rice, we take the green lentils. Now with the green lentils, we need to soak it in the water to make it a little bit bigger, around two hours. Soak it, strain it, clean it, and put it back to that. I put the lentils on top of the rice. Again, 45 seconds. I mix it, toast it. Great. Now we go with the unique Mediterranean uh, spices. The reason I use it now, after we toast everything, I put teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Teaspoon of turmeric. You realize that I'm using almost every recipe by me with turmeric, that it's amazing a spice, it's very healthy. And the last one, it's cumin. Make it spices, very unique, very authentic. You don't must, but if you ask me for recommendation, the cumin make all the flavors. Cumin on top of it. Okay, we good. Beautiful. Now, now when we took two, hello, you hear me? Yeah, we're good. I don't see you. We see you okay.
You got muted. You're muted. Now I'm good? You're good. Yes, now you're good. Okay. I, I, I hope you see it. I had four cups of water to two cups of rice, double the water. Now we let it broil. Let me, I want that it's boil. I'm taking, I'm guessing between three to four minutes, it start to boil. We're going to put it in low flame. We cover it. Give me a second. I want to show you in a second the frying pan when it's boiling. Any question about the Mejadara? No questions. Marcy, you with me? Yeah, I am. I no questions right now. No questions right now. No questions right now. Perfect. Good. As we have professional cooks there. Very good. Now when the, right, the water is boiling, it's very important we want to boil the water with all the spices and high flame. When it's getting boiled like now, I hope you see it. And you don't smell it, amazing smell. We're going to take the flame to the lowest. When we're taking the flame to the lowest flame, I'm going to take, give me a second, I'm running away from the stream for 10 seconds. I'm here again. I'm taking aluminum foil or you have a cover for the lid. For this, it's not, it's ending cover. It doesn't matter. It needs to be nice and covered. I'm going to cover the Mejadara. Like you see, for about four to five minutes. And that's all. We're going to close the flame, leave it for four or five minutes to steam with the all the hot and the flavor and i'm going to show you it's going to be amazing now we're going back to the shakshuka to finish the shakshuka we're going to poach now the eggs after the shakshuka cook for i'm guessing around 10 minutes 11 minutes i'm bringing the eggs and i'm coming Okay, I'm here. I'm taking four or five, four, five eggs. I crack the eggs. I want to show you. Easy. You see? I'm, let me see. Yeah, you, you see like this? I'm cracking. I pour it. Easy. Again. Cracking. Pour it inside. Three. Four, five. This is how it's look when it's not poached now. We put it back to the flame, let it run a little bit more. And this also we covering to steam the eggs. Feel free to ask me any question that you want. Now I'm available. It's the finish. You see, in 10 minutes, I make two recipe that can be a, the whole meal in shakshuka. Like I say, if you are vegetarian, great. If you like 
chicken meat, hot dog. I would chop hot dog and put on top of the shakshuka, let it steam with the, with the eggs. It's also good. But like I say, I stick to the classic, what I like, but everyone with his own opinion and own taste, do it whatever you like. Now when the shakshuka is boiling, I'm taking also aluminum foil and cover it also like the mijadala. Let it steam. Let it steam for four or five minutes and the shakshuka is ready to go with the bread. I'm going to show you when it's ready. Now the mejadara, once in a while, you can see the water needs to be, the rice needs to be clear. The water are steamed and when we don't have the water, it's time to shut off the uh, fire, let it, leave it covered and steam, like I say, to four or five minutes and the mejadara is ready to go. You make it look so simple. So we do have a couple of questions. I wish you can smell it. One of our members wrote that it smells so good. <laughs> okay. I don't hear you so clear, but uh, let me try to answer. Okay. Here's one question. Have you ever substituted quinoa for the rice to add additional protein to the recipe? Marcy, I'm sorry, I can't hear you so good, so clear. Why? Okay, I'm not sure why. I'll ask again. Have you ever substituted quinoa for rice to add additional protein to the recipe? Give me a second. Yes, I'm with you. Okay. So, did you were you able to hear the question? The question, can you hear me? No. No. Okay, I'm not sure why you're not able to hear me. Um Judy Shamir, can you hear me okay? Shake your head if you can hear me. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm not sure why you're not able to hear me. I do have a few questions. Give me a second. Okay, can you hear me better now? I hear you in like in this slow motion and not clear. I'm sorry, I don't know what's happened here. Marcy, Every other minute it's... Marcy, can you text him? Um, yes. Hang on a minute. I'm going to try to text you. Hang on a second. Also, Marcy, if not everybody also uh, got off the video, like I am not off, but maybe I should, then the connection is better. I don't think that's the problem, Judith. Okay. Okay. Let me maybe his my... Wi-Fi where he is. I think that's the problem. I'm going to text him right now. Oh, okay, hang on a second. Tell him to check his phone. Ask him to check his phone, I should say. Give me a second. I want. I'm sorry, Marcy, I can't hear you so clear. I don't understand. I'm going to text you right now. Oh, okay, text me. Sounds great. You know what? Text me all the questions because I'm ready to go. I see the recipe already. Okay. First of all, ask me the question and we see what's happening. Hang on, I'm trying again. Let me get you there. Okay. It's 
not letting me get to. You will. There you go. Okay, we're done there. Okay, can you Okay, the first question went through. Oh, you know, I got, I got your text. Can you use quinoa instead of rice? Yes, of course, for sure. <laughs> but it's not the original, but like I say, I like open mind, out of the box, exactly. This is the, this is the a good point and a great. I, that's all. This is a, all, only a, also a, a, a great question. Quinoa, we need to cook it a little bit more. Ooh, what? For sure. When I say, when I say that you can add to the shakshuka, I want to show you the shakshuka, how it looks the classic way. You see? Beautiful. Yes, for sure. Eggplant, it's one of the greatest topping for shakshuka, for sure. And uh, I'm going back to the, to the, we're going to say, but the quinoa needs to cook a little bit more. The mejadara, it's ready. I want to show you. How long I cooking the rice? Five minutes. I'm cooking the rice. Like I say, close the the light and steam it covered another five minutes. Now that we finish with all the uh, process, this how it look. The mejadara. I'm going to put it in a place that you can see it uh, better. Again, this is the Mejadara. Look, it's one by one. I wish you can taste it. This is how you serve Mejadara. Now, definitely, the shakshuka, like I say, if you like it spicier, I would go with the jalapeno, with the green pepper. Red pepper also count. The original, the classic, it's the tomato stew. But you can add, like I say in the beginning, Whatever you like. Shakshuka, it's a great, uh, I'm sorry, eggplant, it's a great idea. Garnish, yes, of course, you can garnish with that. And I give you another flavor for the eggplant. You can put feta cheese to make it dairy. Feta cheese on top, eggplant, parsley on top. Boom, it's amazing, amazing all, all meal. Now I want to show you the shakshuka. How it's look. Look the shakshuka. I wish you can eat it. It looks great. Beautiful. So can we all come over Too there? Easy. Uh -huh. Dishes. Now I want to uh, uh, share with you a little bit ideas and the question. It's amazing. No, you don't break it. No. What? Why rice? No. Five minutes, six minutes in a high flame. It's need to cook all the rice. 
for my experience, not too much, 22 years, five to six minutes, close, steam it another five minutes, it's take all the observe, they take all, all the water, it's mean 10 minutes, it's in a high flame, it's going to make the work. Now, in Israel, we like, I want to give you an idea for topping for the Mejadara. My two topping flavors, it's one, chopped Israeli salad on top of the Mejadara with trina, tahini, whatever you call it. It's called trina. You know, it's a ses sesame paste. Amazing. The other one, you'll be surprised. And it's much more flavor and I like it. Sour cream. You mix sour cream with the mejadara. Amazing. Any more question? I'm here, but I want to show you again. You see, in 10, 15 minutes, we make together two recipes that can be the whole meal if you uh, putting and adding uh, any kind of uh, flavor that you like. But this is the basic. I want to share. Shakshuka on the red sauce and Mejadara, beautiful color with the turmeric and the lentils. Here we go. It looks beautiful. I'm ready to answer. Marcy, I'm, can I'm, we first of all, I want to thank you that you, I, I'm starving. I want to thank to everyone. I'm starving. I'm in good mood for shakshuka. I'm going to take for me a bread. I feel bad. I'm really feel bad that you can share with me. Oh, it really looks wonderful. Amazing. Can you hear, Yuval? Yuval, do you hear? Can you hear or no? First of all, first of all, I want to thank. I want to thank to the to uh, Yudit Shamir that I know for many years. Then she make the uh, she do the contact with us and Marcy that I have a privilege to to be in touch with you the last couple weeks and to make it happen. Uh, in this crazy time, we need to find a, like you say in the beginning uh, the good way. I'm in the food business and the last seven months. I'm trying to create different thing and I'm nothing, I'm never give up. I'm always good. And I want to be a, you know, a positive, like most of the people to make, you know, things from nothing. Uh, our business getting a different kind of situation. You know, it's a situation, not a lot of parties that we like to cater, not, but, we're doing a lot of takeout. We're sharing things like that with the Zoom classes. And you know what? I'm happy to share. And any time that I have time, I hope that I have time for you. I would like to share with you more and more uh, recipes. And uh, yes, of course, I'm catering. I'm catering. Like I say, I'm catering in the Cleveland area, all the Cleveland area. Uh, sometimes I'm doing out of, no, sometimes, most of the time in regular base, I'm cooking in New York. I'm doing a lot of uh, Passover program in, uh, in Florida, Orlando, uh, for small group. I'm very unique uh, cater. I'm not doing a big events. I'm trying to get till 100 people top. But sometimes, once in a while, I'm doing 200, but it's not my type of business. Most of my catering, it's 30 to 100. Contact information. My email address, it's Yuval. Oh, at your phone, okay. <laughs> I'm going to send to Marcy now my email address and my uh, cell phone number. If anyone uh, wants an interesting, um, the last 15 years, I'm doing Shabbat. Shabbat dinner that I'm delivering all around the my area, Pepper Pike, Morland Hills, Beachwood, University Heights, mm -hmm. and Cleveland Heights. It's a very famous Shabbat menu that we're doing every Friday. And if someone wants to uh, get more information, I'm going to send right now to Marcy 
my email and my cell phone. Any question, you can call me, text me, email me. I'm, I'm going to send to Marcy right now my uh, email address. And after this, I'm going to share the recipe with her. And then, ladies, I will send second. the recipes out along with Chef Yuval's contact information so that should you want him for catering, we definitely want to yes. support him for helping us. And I will send the recipes to everyone. And if you try out the recipes and send me what happens or photos of you making these recipes. I'll, I'll send you now the contact information. Please uh, confirm that you got it. Yes, I got it. I send Marcy, I send you now the contact information. Yes, okay, you got it. I'm, I think that I'm done for today. Thank you very much. My pleasure Thank you. anytime. Thank I'm, you. Going to, Thank you. I'm going to text you. Thank you. Uh, Marcy, I'm going to text you. I'm going to text you the two recipes and you can share it with the group. Great, thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very, very much. Stay safe. Thank you, Chef Yuval. Stay safe. Thank you.